Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and uh, as promised, for those of you in our uh, community, I uh, promised to do a short course on using the brand new membership slash directory features slash functionality within Circle. Circle is the niche community software as a service platform that we use uh, to build our private membership and many folks now in my own community are using Circle to build their own. So uh, as I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, I'm recording this on the 24th of October 2021. Uh, in the last four or five days, maybe I think it was Friday, Thursday or Friday of last week, Circle officially released their directory feature, which now turns your private community or your public community, for that matter, into a uh, member directory, very much similar to something that you could build on WordPress using my listing or listable, listify, uh, listing pro, all those sorts of uh, WordPress themes, frameworks, and plugins are now easily emulated on your circle community with the added benefit of all the extra features and functions that circle confers that you just simply can't get easily using WordPress so here is a brand new community I'm gonna build this whole thing on a new uh, you know a new site so that you can see actually how this looks from scratch rather than actually trying to retrofit it into a new or a a previous community so uh, the first thing we're going to do is this is the home screen of this particular community you can see there's only one space and there's no there are no other tabs I'm the only member and we're gonna log in okay and now you have one extra tab that this is the real salient and important one for our purposes it's the members tab and essentially what this does is it creates this whole other area on your site that is a directory of all of your members with their profiles with their links and with all of their activity on your community listed underneath their profile so again with the understanding that there's nothing really here yet on this community you can actually see this is a brand new uh, installation of circle and it's a trial so it's actually uh, you know about seven days old and I created this just for the purpose of doing this demonstration again if you are interested in watching the entire process unfold I'm gonna have a short course on this that's gonna include the email outreach campaign uh, that we're gonna use the you know all of the attendance steps that one would want to incorporate into building a membership slash directory style site using a software as a service solution like circle rather than WordPress and one of the things I would recommend those of you who are sort of not sure whether this is the right approach for you or not sign up for a trial of circle and then just launch all of the marketing pieces the email outreach the customer outreach all of the acquisition marketing strategies over the 14 days that they give you to try circle for free so you can actually stress test an idea you can stress test your directory without any of the stress that one ordinarily experiences when launching one of these sorts of sites you don't need a tech person you don't need a developer a designer all the the things that you would do with a WordPress based solution like my listing or any of those sorts of themes you can do yourself or you know if you absolutely just refuse to do it you can hire someone to help you but you're not talking about any real code undertaking there's no you know there's no cost that you, someone can justify charging you for you know developing this sort of site on circle because it's all kind of built into the bones of the software itself all right so um you know i do recommend that you do that if you want to join us for this course you can sign up for the course and just get a free trial to circle and then for 14 days really hustle and see how many members you can get to sign up for your community and if none sign up no 
you know, you've incur incurred no loss. You just don't actually pay for the platform, right? You just kind of give up and move on to some other idea. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think you'll find that if you follow my instructions, you'll easily uh, acquire many new members that when, you're ta when it's time to pay for your circle when 14 days are up and you have to pay that first um, fee to actually launch your community, it's inexpensive. It's $39 or $79 uh, per month contingent on which you know, plan you choose, but you'll have far more than that in revenue to justify, you know, paying for it. So, I mean, you'll 10x, 20x, or 100x your, um, you know, the the circle fee that you pay circle every month uh, just by dint of, you know, the 14 days that you can uh, leverage to build your community. All right, so here is the, I'm going to keep all these videos under 10 minutes. So in this short one, I'm just going to show you the members tab. This is what it looks like. And this is the single member right now, which is myself. All right, you can see that the membership is private, right, which means that only I see this right now. And of course, I'm the only member of this community. But if there was a hundred or a thousand or 50 other members, until you actually toggle this onto public, then you are, as the administrator, the only one who actually sees your membership. So let's toggle that on. And you can see this is where it instructs you that this page is private and blah, 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 blah. So if you make it public, everyone will see your circle directory. So let's make that public and boom, now it's public. All right, now for the, the sake of this first video, I'm just going to cover the very simple, um, you know, the, 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 the front uh, of mind sort of stuff that you see right away, which is member bio, headline, location, role, spaces, and tags. And these are the search filters that you can apply or that your public or, or peers uh, will be applying when they search the directory. So you can actually search right here, everybody, or then you can filter it down by dint of bio, headline, location, role, spaces, and tags. And that really gives your uh, it gives you a lot of granularity, and as this gets better and better, as Circle continues to refine, improve, optimize, tweak, and critique their own membership slash directory uh, feature set, this is going to get really, really powerful and far better than you could do on something like WordPress, at least easily for most of us, right? So, yeah, I mean, WordPress is always going to have these you know, supercharged plugins, which give you the ability to do all sorts of things with search that get better and better as well. But they are a pain in the ass unless you are a coder or a WordPress person or a professional, you know, developer on the WordPress platform. I certainly have more expertise in WordPress than the vast majority of folks who enter my entrepreneurial orbit, but I'm a dummy when it comes to WordPress. Like I know how to do a lot of things just by dint of force forcing myself to learn things that are outside my comfort zone. I'm a writer and a marketing person, not a you know, WordPress person, not a tech person. So all the things that I've learned to do on WordPress have been by brute force. And I don't think that's really the best use of my time or attention or entrepreneurial uh, energy. I, I should be writing emails and outreach and calling people and exciting people about our communities. That's what I love to do. That's what I do best. Certainly most, that's true for most of you as well. You shouldn't be, you know, you didn't, you didn't start a directory to like, get bogged down in the uh, weeds of the tech and the tool and all that sort of stuff. So that's what Circle brings uh, you know, to the equation that something like WordPress doesn't. There are no, there's very few tech challenges because all the stuff is managed by Circle themselves. All right, so here, if I search for member bio, you can you know, in, enter phrases that might be in a bio if you want to find a member who says they're interested in nutrition or running or diet or mindfulness or dentistry or, or design or whatever, right? Predicated on your, um, your member's uh, content. Headline, location, I mean, all this, this is where you would actually filter by virtue of 
you know, geography role, so you can filter by member, moderator, or admin. This is good for uh, directories that have like lots of moderators or lots of admins, uh, you know, relative to uh, normal, right? So, I mean, some communities have a lot of moderators and you want to just to filter by folks who have some authority or some, you know, have some priority in the uh, platform, right? You want to like talk to somebody, let's say about an issue, you might want to filter by dint of admin or moderator or moderator relative to member, right? Spaces, this is really good if you want to find people in a, you know, certain space, let's say you have a, a directory that has mental health professionals versus clients or patients or students or something like that, you know, and you, you would be able to filter again by dint of what spaces folks are assigned to, which again gives them some authority or not, and that may be important to your members. So uh, if someone is a member of the, you know, mental health professional space, and you are a public person looking for help, you may want to filter by that space rather than the public spaces, etc. And of course, you can extrapolate that out for your own use case. And tags is, um, you know, just yet another way of filtering by dint of tagging your members. And I'll show you really quickly if I go into tags here. And again, this is a new community, so there are very few tags. There are two tags. There is author and creator. And let's say I created a member tag called Rockstar. All right, let's just take that. You can create an icon. You can select an icon. I'm not going to do that here because we're just trying to do this quickly. You can display it on the post and comments, member cards, profile page, member directory, label, icon with tooltip. You have all those sorts of um, options here. So let's create the tag Rockstar. And there it is. Let's edit it a little bit more. And let's you know, rather than editing it, let's add myself to the Rockstar tag. I you know, think I can fairly do that on my own community when I'm the only member. All right, so now I'm a Rockstar. All right, so let's go back to the community. Let's go to members. Oh, actually, you can see, here's me. I'm an admin. I'm also an author. That's another tag. And I'm a Rockstar. All right, you see? And then on the post level, you can see the tooltip is Rockstar. All right, let's go back to members. And we're going to start to build this out a little bit. And again, you know, you're going to see some, I'm going to show you some really cool and creative ways to use the member directory function feature uh, within Circle in some, you know, taking some hard won lessons that I learned from WordPress and how to really maximize exposure. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the ways that you can do this using Circle uh, quickly, easily, and really build a scalable business around this model that the sky is the limit. I mean, you can really, I mean, you could just continuously rinse and repeat the approach I'm going to show you here to build three, four, five, seven, ten directories using Circle, you know, uh, all using this 14-day trial method where you're just kind of creating and stress testing your ideas around for free, you know, with each a directory that you build and waiting until you have the normative amount of members for you to actually pay for the new community. And you can have three or four or five, six of these with lots of members that you launched for nothing, that you launched for free, literally, because they give you two weeks to actually you know, kick the tires and stress test your ideas. And I, I think it's super exciting. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to doing some um, demonstrations on how to do this and working with some of you who are interested in consulting uh, with us to actually build your community. 
Uh, if you're interested in that, send me an email, mindfulmarketplace at gmail.com. If you're interested in um, actually uh, joining the course that I'm going to be teaching on this, it is, again, uh, I think it'll actually be live probably November 1st or so, but I'll have a link to that course uh, below. It's a private community, and if you sign up for that, you'll get access to everything that I'm doing with the exact steps that you can copy, you can emulate, and you can really just kind of take my entire blueprint and apply it to your own community, again, for free, using the 14-day free trial model that Circle offers all of us. Okie doke. So excited about this. I think you should be too. If you're someone who struggled with WordPress, this is really a game changer for folks building directories, niche communities, marketplaces, local portals, listing sites, all those sorts of things. All right. Teach what you know. Do what you love. Wake up the world with your work. I think this may be the only video I'm going to do of this sequence on YouTube. So if you're interested in really a deep dive and going through the process with us, you have to sign up for the community below. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if I can be uh, uh, of any assistance, send me an email and I'm happy to help. Thanks.